Hi, and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making cowboy burgers. Ooh, I love me a burger. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got my ingredients prepped and we're ready to go. All right, so I've got my ground sirloin. I ended up getting that at Whole Foods because I do know that they uh, make the beef there in-house. Um, that way I know exactly what's went into my um, ground beef. I'm gonna add one whole onion, and it's a large onion. One spicy jalapeno. About four tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna crack some pepper on that. And then lastly, I'm gonna add cheese, some sharp cheddar. I chose chips cheddar because I love it, but you can add as much cheese or as little cheese or you don't have to have any cheese at all if you don't like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and combine everything, all my ingredients together. Now it's time for me to form my burgers. I have the ingredients all mixed together and now I'm gonna go ahead and take a big section and it's up to you whether you like a thinner burger or a thick burger, but um, for this I like more of a medium style burger, so I just kind of form it right into a circle and pound it on down. And as you can see, I've got three ready to go. I got one more burger to go and we'll get it out on the grill. So what's my favorite part of a cowboy burger? Probably the hat. Now that your burgers are on the grill, this is your perfect opportunity for you to go ahead and prep everything. So when your burgers come off, you're ready to eat. I've got some spring mix, raw onions, pickles, and tomatoes, and I'm gonna go ahead and get them all set up on my brioche bun. If you're craving a burger but need a low carb option, you can also do this with a lettuce wrap or a tortilla. This is a almond flour tortilla that I had gotten at Whole Foods. This burger is done and this cowgirl is ready to eat. Post a comment below and tell me what your favorite burger spot is. You can support my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. You can log on using any Gmail account. Follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. See you next week.